Hey, welcome back to the bench. So, a quick update on this uh, 18650 charge and discharge station. Um, from last time, I did say I wanted to uh, remove the dependency from the, the computer for monitoring, so I've uh, added in you know, one of these little Nokia 5110 screens and uh, now have that displaying here. There's some four batteries currently under test. Uh, it's displaying the battery number. D for discharge, the uh, current milliamp power capacity and the voltage on the right hand side. Uh, I added in a little start button down here and uh, I also fixed some of the, uh, the voltage reference issues that I've been having with the power supply from the computer. So I'm going to leave that running there at the top of the screen while uh, we return to this diagram from last time. Um, so last time I was looking at this 5 volt reference here and what turned out to be the problem with um, some of my measuring accuracy is this the Arduino Nano, this is a, a clone Nano, has a uh, 5 volt regulator on board which the USB is fed through because it was already supplying uh, USB was bringing 4.9 volts in uh, 4.9 point something or other um, when it went through the uh, the voltage regulator that's on this board it was bringing it down to 4.1 volts so I have managed to get around that issue now by adding in off the, the 12 volt rail which is coming off the power brick I've added in a uh, 7805 regulator which is now providing a 5 volt rail which I'm connected here I'm not powering off the switching power supply on the side because it was unable to provide a consistent um, 5 volts which is used for the reference inside the Arduino for reading back these uh, these values from the the current sensor and from the voltage from the battery. So that appears to have fixed it. So yeah, these uh, these cheap boards have terrible regulators on board. So if you do want an exa a a accurate five volt reference, um, what I've ended up doing is placing the input of that 5 volt not onto the VIN but onto the 5 volt uh, line here which is after the regulator that's on the Arduino itself. So I published the code for the uh, for this monitor now it's on GitHub I've put the link in the uh, video description below um, so if you do want to make something similar then the circuit is here in the video and the uh, uh, the code can be uh, downloaded from my GitHub. The one thing I didn't talk about last time was the uh, one of the deficiencies of this uh, method is that <clears throat> going back to this uh, diagram, that as this battery changes voltage over the period of the uh, the discharge, so we start at 4.1 volts. Um, and if V is I over R, then 4.1 over the resistance of 4.7 ohms is roughly 0.87 to amps so that's the initial discharge current for for one of these batteries but then as we drop so uh, let's say 4.0 over 4.7 is going to give us naught point eight five and then 3.9 over 
gives us uh, 0.829 all the way to when this battery is at 3 volts that gives us 0.638 amps so we're never really discharging this thing a, a, a constant current so in the next video I am going to be designing a adaptation to this circuit where we replace this portion of our design with a constant current load to discharge this battery more accurately over time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.